Good evening, this is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blogspot. It's Tuesday, October 24th, 2006. We're going to go ahead and take a look at some stocks for trading uh, tomorrow. Now, tomorrow, of course, we've got the Federal Reserve meeting, so that means that, uh, you know, the first hour to uh, maybe two hours, typically you can get something going, but then the market slows down to a snail's pace, um, you know, prior to the meeting. And right as the Fed announcement is made, and typically for about an hour or so after that, we get some real wild activity. So it's really not my one of my favorite days to, to be trading. And I'm suggesting uh, that you as well should take it uh, very slow tomorrow like I'm going to do. Uh, there are a couple good setups here. Not, nothing that I'm really overly thrilled with. I think the market is getting more extended. Um, we're seeing some stocks breaking down on an individual basis. Uh, whereas, you know, stocks with good earnings are, are getting rewarded very, very well here. So um, it's still stock pickers environment. Again, take a look at the when these stocks report earnings because I have not checked. First one up, though, is Auxilium Pharmaceuticals, symbol AUXL. Be careful with this one. It's a little bit thinly traded, average of about just under 300,000 shares. Today, the volume picked up. Uh, pretty good and traded about 400,000 shares but it's in a real nice uptrend here in this daily time frame you can see and on the weekly time frame obviously you know we saw a breakout past that $10 level um, just a couple months ago and looking at the monthly time frame that would put the stock at all-time highs right now so when we drill down to the short-term time frame looking here at a 10 minute uh, chart now each one of these candles represents 10 minutes worth of data what I would consider doing would be to purchase the stock above uh, $12 and this high right here, which is about 33 cents. So I'd say above $12 and 33 cents, you uh, might want to consider this stock as a purchase candidate. Then I would say that your stop ought to go down at about $10 and uh, I'm sorry, $12 and 10 cents. So our risk here is about 23 cents theoretically. And I'm looking for the stock to travel up to about $13 a share. And, uh, you know, who knows what can happen after that because the stock is at all-time highs. So AUXL is the symbol for that stock. Next up is Dynavax Technology, symbol DVAX, David Victor uh, Adam X-Ray. And here on the screen you can see that uh, it tried to find some support at that 10-day moving average. That failed to hold after this little bounce. And now it's pulled back down to the 20-day moving average. So it's come down in very light volume in here. And I think it looks like it's due for a bounce. Looking at the weekly time frame, you know, maybe, it, maybe it's not the best-looking chart on a weekly time frame. But I do think that it ought to get up to probably, and let me show you where I'm coming up with this price target, uh, $7.20. The reason for that is because that's the average price that people have paid for the stock since it gapped higher here. So since it gapped higher, the VWAP has been about $7.17 actually. I'm just going to call this target $7.20, but the way I'm considering playing the stock on the long side would be to purchase it. Uh, let me change that to a normal trend line rather than that VWAP. But to purchase the stock above $6.40. Above $6.40 is where I would consider purchasing this stock for a potential rally up towards that $7.20 level up here. And I think you don't have to risk very much. In fact, I would put the stop just under $6.20. I'd put it at $6.20. and Twenty. Uh, I'm sorry. Six dollars and nineteen cents for a risk of twenty-one cents is what I was trying to say there. Uh, so, in other words, we risk maybe about twenty cents on this trade for the opportunity, hopefully to make about eighty cents or so. Seventy to eighty cents makes for a nice risk-reward ratio. This next stock uh, I'm going to save for the last after I do one short sale because the next stock is a low-priced one that I think has some nice upside, and I want to keep you hanging around to the end of the video. Um, but this is a short sale candidate. Company is called Gevity HR. Human Resources, I have no clue. GVHR is the name, the symbol for the company. You can see a, a declining 50 day moving average, so I consider it guilty till proven innocent. It's, you know, had this breakdown here on a gap. It tried to recover. It's still looking weak. It's still looking like. People are tired of this stock for whatever reason. And on the weekly time frame, you can see here the sellers are in control. It's below its 
10, 20, 30, and 40 week moving averages, and they're all declining too. So on a 10 minute time frame, you see it got a little bit ahead of itself on the downside here, maybe. So I'd like to see a rally just up to about $21.50. And after that rally, if it does, up to $21.50, I'd then sell it short below $21.35. And I would then put my stop at $21.55, so risking about $0.20. Cents. And I think the stock can make it down towards about the $20 level where it was uh, just about a month ago. So risking about $0.20 cents to make approximately $1.35. Now, this next stock is the last one we'll look at. You can see that it broke past... Uh, some resistance here on massive volume uh, just about a little bit more than a week ago. It's consolidated on light volume, diminishing volume each day. Today the volume picked up a little bit and it closed near the high uh, in uh, where, where it uh, opened actually as well. Looking at the weekly time frame, you can see it's definitely, you know, not undiscovered, but, you know, as it broke past there, it's been in this very nice uptrend. And I think it has the possibility to make it up towards about $4.90. So that'd be about $0.60 cents of upside for this stock. And where I'd put the stop would be just under today's low. So I'd put the stop on this one at about $4.21. So I'd like to buy the stock above $4.33, putting a stop then just below here. That level is uh, just going to be, again, $0.12 cents away at $4.21. Looking for upside of $4.90. The company's name is PEMSTAR, symbol P-M-T-R.